you gotta clean the drain on this Maytag. There's some videos that show you taking off the front. That's not good because there's a seal around here that you have to pull off that metal seal. And it's a pain to get back on. So go from the back. And I'll show you how to do that. The back of your wash machine. This is the Maytag. We want to take the white plastic caps off. And to take these off, you simply grab them and pull it back. This just hooks on to that hole right there. Push it in, push it towards the center of the machine. Snaps back on. So I just grab the back and pull it towards me. Same one here. Grab the back, it's plastic, just pull it towards you. It comes off. You have four of these. They're easy, very easy to take off. While you're up here, you can dust the back of your machine. That's where you take the back off. That's where your plastic parts go. This is what you're gonna see. The drum and the drain is right there. Gray thing. That's what you're gonna turn and clean. Okay, you have to turn that counterclockwise because of this right here. So I'm gonna have to grab it and turn it towards me. Okay. Okay, so come in here, you can use both hands and turn it counterclockwise. Just loosen it up a little. And you can see the water is coming out. It's pretty clean. And I guess you just pull it out. There it is. It's not that dirty, but that's what you want. That's what you want to clean up. So you put it back in the same way. Oh, look at the pennies and stuff in there. So you pull that out. Leave the pan under here because we're going to put some water in there and rinse it just to see. There's drain out of there. You see the dirt that has gathered over the years. So basically you're washing that out. You can see a little bit of residue inside of the... You put your filter back in, it's only going to go in one way. But you can see how dirty it is up there. If you want, you can wipe that clean. Wipe all the stuff out. That's the sand, little grit that gets into the washing machine. Now we'll put the filter back in. a rag. Soaked in vinegar and just push it in there, turn it around. Hopefully, it, it's getting the edges. You know, especially where the o ring is. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of goop on there. But, that's good enough. Now this only fits in one way. That's with the strainer facing you. This turns. But you want it to face you, and then stick it into the hole. It goes right in. You just turn it clockwise all the way till you see this piece come up to here.
and lock it in. Sometimes you gotta use both hands. There it is. So it's locked in. Now you take your water out. You'd see what was left in there. That's all the grit that you cleaned out of your wash machine. So your drain is back in. You probably won't have any more problems. I do this every couple of years or if you use your wash machine a lot. You know, you can figure out when you should clean it. That was a quarter and a dime in the filter. So when you're done washing your clothes, I always like to leave the door ajar so that the filter doesn't accumulate mildew in here. As long as this is dry, the mildew won't grow. Then wipe the bottom of this every once in a while. This should keep your wash in good shape for a long time. Bye-bye.